Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so I got another experiment. I gotta update you from my WD-40 video on these headlights and let you know what happened. And in this video, I wanna take and I'm gonna put off on that headlight and I'm gonna put toothpaste on that headlight and we're gonna see which one works. We're gonna break this myth once and for all. I've seen so many of these videos and I wanna know if it's really true. So, this is my 2011 Toyota Coma. The lights are foggy. They've been that way for a while. I just wanna find out. I'm gonna sacrifice these headlights to this scientific experiment. Full disclosure, last week-ish, it was about a uh, week and a half, two weeks ago, I made a video where I rubbed WD-40 on these headlights. Holy cow! And it turned out pretty good, but it only lasted about a week and a half. And now here's what they look like. So check it out. This is after like two weeks of WD-40. Left, right. As you can see, it's got the glaze over it too. So I was cruising through the internet and I saw that people had put off on the headlights. And I have an idea that the DEET actually melts the top layer of the plastic on the headlights. Is that true? I'm not sure. If you're a scientist, comment down below and let's find out. But I'm gonna sacrifice my left headlight to off and we're gonna see if it actually works and how long it works. And I'm gonna come back in about a week and a half, two weeks and show you. And then I'm gonna take my right headlight and I'm gonna put toothpaste. I'm gonna etch it on there and we're gonna see if it actually works. And in the same video, I'm gonna come back and show you left versus right. And we will tell if it's true. And if not, we'll have a laugh. And we'll get to comment down below and everybody gets to argue and it'll be fun. Also, Samantha doesn't want to be in this video. She's sitting this one out. I don't need makeup on. I gotta get to work. She says she's not presentable and she has to go to work. <laughs> Back to the experiment. Bye, Samantha. So I'm trying to do this as scientifically as possible to do in your front yard on a Monday morning while it's like 90 degrees outside so bear with me all right here's what we're gonna do off right here colgate over here over, over here can you see over here boom i got a towel i stole from the bathroom okay that hangs on over the sink clean towel toothbrush that i had for like cleaning stuff just spare toothbrush. This is not my toothbrush. It was an old toothbrush that I had. It's not my current toothbrush, but it's still clean, kinda, and it's been used for random stuff like this. Here goes nothing. All right, we got some deep woods off. Just some off for mosquitoes, ticks, biting flies, and chiggers. One part towel, type one each. I have to get this on the paint. Well, it's cleaning it up pretty good. Doing pretty good. See, you can see it's rubbing off some dirt. Now, I did wash this like a couple days ago. So, you know, we're seeing. Might have another shocker, guys. We might have another shocker. I'm gonna keep rubbing. We're gonna see. So we're seeing boom and boom. We're seeing cleaner, dirty. You know, like I'm, I'm too cheap to go buy new headlights or the hell headlight kit. Got some off because I live in Florida. You know, in Florida, there's mosquitoes everywhere. You, you pretty much live with off on us. And in like 20 years from now, I'm going to find out that off pretty much destroys your skin. But back to the headlights, you know that that is working. It's doing pretty good. I'm doing my best to try to do this scientifically. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a dude spraying off on a set of headlights. So you can see there's a lot of dirt coming off of them. But I did clean this car, I promise. Look at that. Not bad. This is the other side. Look at that. Can't even see through them. I'm pretty impressed so far. It's actually cleaning them up pretty decently. I'm, pr I'm pretty impressed. Now, the real trick will be when I go to spray these off, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray it off with water. Cause that's one thing I noticed in the comment section, everybody said, once it gets wet, it'll go back to the original color. Well, we're gonna hose it off. We're gonna find out. All right, everybody, I'm doing my best to make this as concise as possible with air conditioners running and helicopters going overhead. But this is the other one and I'm fixing to use 
some toothpaste. Everybody says toothpaste works. We're gonna find out. So I grabbed some baking soda to put in there and make it a little gritty. We're gonna find out. We're gonna make it gritty. We're gonna make it Colgate. We're gonna make it toothpaste, baking, baking soda. We're gonna make it, we're doing it. We're just gonna find out. Maybe that was a little too much. Came out a little, a little fast. I'm going to keep scrubbing and then I'm going to take this off right here, wash it off and we'll be able to tell the difference right here. Can you see the, the dirt on the toothbrush? You can tell it's getting it cleaner. Pretty skeptical but I'm going to keep scrubbing. I think it's going to be kind of like, like a fine sandpaper with like some, some cleaning product and it's going to clean half of them off and it's going to look decent. This will work if the outside is just kind of like you know, scratchly and not quite as good. Scratchly is not a word, but I know. And uh, just kind of like smooths it out, cleans it up, gets the dirt and pit and all that kind of stuff off of it. For the next step, I'm gonna get the water hose and I'm gonna spray it off and we're gonna find out. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if there is a difference and if the oil or the DEET or whatever, once it washes off the off, say off three times fast, that it uh, goes back to its old color. That was the big argument. Was was it just the petroleum based stuff in it that made it do that or was it actually cleaning and restoring? Off wasn't made to clean and restore, so I'm skeptical. Toothpaste wasn't made for it either. I'm skeptical. But this is just a fun, <laughs> this is just a fun scientific experiment. All right, here we go. I'm pretty impressed with the off so far. This is the funnest part. So right off the bat, it's not doing as good a job as the off, but I guess you got to keep scrubbing on it. I scrubbed for like maybe five minutes, got a lot of dirt off, but still you can tell it's not as, not as clear. So that one is pretty clear, not bad. This one is still dingy. Kind of disappointed in the toothpaste because it's really not outperforming the off right now. The off did a pretty good job, but I bet I'm willing to bet either the petroleum or the DEET and the off filled in the cracks like everybody said on the comment section but as of right now it's still pretty clear and it's winning like it's it's definitely a lot better WD-40 did the same thing but it lasts about a week so I'm skeptical of both these ideas they're a quick fix and you could keep applying but uh, you know it's the same way with wax or you know anything like you know they're gonna get dirty again and you know it's uh, the WD-40 like cleans it fills the cracks, the petroleum I guess, and then it, it gets dirty again or it just fades away. Kind of like wax would, like there's no quick fix. Okay, in closing, I'm gonna go ahead and say there's no quick fix for these headlights. If you wanna do it right, you gotta go buy the kit. I wanted to just see if it would actually work. I had heard about it, I would seen it, and I wanted to find out for myself that it would work. I wanted to apply a little bit of you know redneck ingenuity and see if they would, it would fix it. It would fix it for a week week and a half, two, like probably the distance in between these two videos, my WD-40 video and this video. Now, what I would what I would recommend is, you know, just if you really want to fix them, go either get new headlights or a restoration kit. But if you want a cheap idea of how to get this thing done, WD-40 or off. Off probably worked better than WD-40. So I just wanted to make this video. I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be entertaining. It'd be interesting. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you've tried this and see how long it's lasted. And uh, you know, if you got anything to say, just say it. It'd be fun, entertaining, good conversation. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to follow me on Yak Molly, Instagram, Facebook. I'll see you guys later. Finished toothpaste, nothing. Finished off, not bad. Not bad at all.